Hi and welcome to AMG workshop In this video I'm going to show you how to make a soldering fume extract For this project we're gonna need a 120 mm fan with its cage this one I took it from Nord ATX power supply and we also gonna need a 12 volt and at least a half an ampere power supply we're gonna need a plastic food container with locking handles flat plastic in my case, it just happened I took apart a CRT monitor and I'm gonna be using its plastic. A piece of 5mm stick sponge. Two 4mm machine screws. Two nuts. Two wing nuts. And four washers red lead and the current limiting resistor power switch and of course some wire we're gonna need hot glue electrical tape and sealing compound soldering iron and some lead pliers utility knife Phillips screwdriver, some sandpaper, jigsaw with seal cutting blade, a drill with 7 and 4 mm drill bit. First, I remove the fan cage and use it as a template to mark out the fan hole and the attachment screws locations. I'm using the molding marks to center the fan location. Then I marked out the screws locations and the fan hole. This food container doesn't have a rigid sides for the power switch, so I'm putting it in the bottom. The power cord also should be in a rigid area. I measured 5mm from the inside bottom, just enough space for the screws head. I used just the tape of the utility knife and slowly start cutting into plastic. Don't trust the cutting, the utility knife may slip and injure yourself. Yep, what I told you. Luckily nothing happened. Here I'm cutting the inside of the marking, not the outside. If it's a little too tight, you can fine tune it later. But you don't want it to be larger. With the utility knife I made small dents to prevent the drill bit from sliding away. Then I drilled the two holes with the 4mm drill bit. With the same drill bit I drilled the power cord hole. I used a block of wood to support the bottom of the container while drilling the four holes so I don't break it. With a bigger drill bit I removed the plastic bear.
with the help of the container cover. I cut the sponge into its size. I made a big opening in the cover with the utility knife. I only left the edges and the areas needed for the locking. You can see it's not the best cutting in the world, but that's okay. Beauty is not the purpose of this project. I took the power supply apart so it fits in the container. And I desoldered the input and the output wiring, so I can add the LED and the power switch later on. I lose the original wire because it's thin and it won't be so difficult to put back with the lead solder to it. To make my soldering easier, I twisted the lead and the resistor together. Did you see that smoke? Yeah, it goes right into my face. I soldered the red wire to the anode of the lead. And I soldered the pink one to the cathode. I didn't use much solder so the lead can fit perfectly. To prevent any short circuit, I covered the lead legs and the resistor with some electrical chain. Then I soldered it in its place. I made the legs template out of cardboard. With a fine tip marker, I drew the outline of the legs. I made a PDF for you if you like this exact shape. I drilled the holes for the jigsaw blade with a 7mm drill bit.
I choose a steel cutting blade to make a cleaner cut. But it's coming up as the plastic gets hot. Luckily some drops of oil fix the problem. I rounded the edges and trimmed off the excess plastic. With sandpaper, I made the cuts more smoother. And I removed the plastic wear. Here I just estimated the whole location. Then I drilled it with a 4mm drill bit. I used the first hole to mark the second one. And now the legs are ready. To assemble everything I started by putting in the screws. I added the washer, then I tightened it up with a nut. I cut two pieces of wire and I soldered them to the power switch. Because there is no enough space for the hot glue gun, I put hot glue to one side of the power switch before I push it all the way in. Then I added glue to the other side. With the cutting pliers I trimmed off the band protection. So the cable fits in its hole. I soldered one wire of the power cable with one of the power switch. Then I soldered the other wire of the power switch to the power supply. After the hot glue got set, I soldered the left wire of the power cable to the power supply. To seal any gaps between the fan and the bottom of the container, I used PVC glue. And carefully I tightened up the fan.
before I hot glue the post plug to the side of the container, I put piece of electrical tape on the head screw to prevent any short circuits. And now all it's left is to assemble the legs and put the cover back. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I do, please subscribe and see you in the next video.